When Baron Dolph and Baroness Carolina Swartz de Landas Weiburg bought Dunsborough Park in 1994, the country house was in a poor state. The 108-acre property dates from around 1580 and was originally a simple farmhouse that has been extended over time to reach 9,617 square feet. Restoring Dunsborough took 18 months, cost about $2.45 million and involved stripping it back almost to its bare bones. Its original features, including wood floors, wooden panelling and fireplaces, needed restoring and it had to be redecorated in keeping with its age. The walls of the main living room were lined with pink and beige silk rather than regular wallpaper and they commissioned an artist to paint the walls of the dining room with a landscape of trees and long grasses. The couple have also worked hard to keep the gardens immaculate. Dunsborough are considered amongst the finest private gardens in Britain and are open to the public eight times a year, attracting up to a thousand visitors per day. It is particularly famous for its tulips. Every year, 20,000 fresh bulbs are planted to ensure the display is spectacular. The couple will be at Dunsborough Park to see the tulips blossom this year, but they may not be around for next year's planting. Because at the end of March, the estate, which also includes 10 cottages and equestrian facilities, is being put on sale with Savills for about $20.9 million. With their children now grown up, the property is too large for the Baron and Baroness. Baroness Carolina estimates that three to four gardeners plus two full-time staff in the house would be the ideal number to run it. As Baron Dolph says, I very much hope that whoever does buy it will keep up opening the gardens to the public. They are something which should be shared.